Guess who's back? Back again. Mo is back. Tell a friend. Hello, everybody. Mr. Mo here again to give you part two, part two, part two of the Microsoft Word tutorial. So let's begin. Waste no time. Here we go. I click on the little start thing. I go to programs. Gonna go find Microsoft Office. There it is. Gonna click on Microsoft Word 2013. Blank document. Bam! There it is. All right, we're ready to begin. Last time um, you guys were uh, messing around with Microsoft Word stuff, we did some of the basics. We're gonna do some things that are slightly more complicated this time. So um, I guess the first thing I'm gonna do, I need to go find a picture. Um, so I'm gonna go to Google. And click on images, and we'll go to that picture of the old flying birds that I like. This picture here, and I'm going to right click and hit copy image, not URL, copy image. And I'm going to come into my document and I'm going to paste it. And so there I have my picture. All right, and now as you can see, if I click on the picture and I try to move it, I can't move the picture anywhere which is kind of a problem. So what I like to tell you guys to do, now they've started attaching it right over here where you can just click layout options here, but if for some reason that's not there, you can always go to format, and there's the wrap text right there. Okay, so either there or there. Um, if I click that one, um, I like to always go in front of text, right here, in front of text. And what that allows me to do, um, and now if I click off of it, um, now it allows me to move it wherever I want, um, which is kind of handy. It's always good to be able to move pictures wherever you want them. So that is, um, that's the easiest way to move a picture is to just click here or go to wrap text. Okay. Now I'm going to find another picture. Close out of this. And this time I'm going to search for not turtles. I like turtles. So I'm just going to click on turtle. So I go to the turtle. And look at these beautiful turtles. Oh, gosh, poor guy. That one looks like he's about at the end of his life. Let's go to this turtle that looks prosperous as it's swimming under the water. Um, and I'm going to click on this guy. Right click, hit copy. And I'm going to paste it up in here, up in here. And there's my turtle. As you can see, it's behind the bird. So I need to click on my little format thing and go to in front of text. And now there's my, my lovely turtle. Now here's something that I love that you can do in Microsoft Word that we couldn't do until last year, actually. They started letting us do this. It's called Remove Background. And what Remove Background will do is it will let you get rid of the background, pretty much, so, or, or whatever you want in the picture. So I hit Remove Background, and now it's just kind of guessing. You want to get rid of this part. Well, I don't want to get rid of his little leg back there, so I'm going to stretch this. That looks fine to me. That looks fine to me. And so everything in purple is going to disappear if I click Keep Changes. But you might notice there's some, some of the water is still in there, and I want to get rid of that. So I'm going to go up here to Mark Areas to Remove. I click on that, and now I'm just going to draw lines on things that I want it to get rid of. And it usually does a pretty good job of guessing. Now, sometimes that's actually perfect. Um, I'm going to hit Keep Changes. Sometimes, and now you see my turtle is... Uh, the background is gone. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it smaller, right? And then I can adjust kind of the angle of it if I want. Um, and now I can bring him up here and make him look like he is flying with the birds. He is one with the birds. Um, and so I, I can do something like that. And that looks kind of funny. So this will allow you guys to do some pretty cool things um, by, by removing the background. And what it also allows you to do, I can't tell you how many times when I'm looking in like a PowerPoint or Word and I see someone has a picture and they have like a white background, a white square background around the picture. Get rid of that white square background to where we just have the turtle. And so it looks more natural um, in there. And sometimes when you guys are going to be editing, um, removing the background, sometimes it's good if you're doing really fine stuff to make your picture gigantic then go to remove background and that will let you really do some fine details. Now let's say it's getting rid of something that I want to keep. I would just go to mark areas to keep 
and I can draw a line there, and then it will keep it. So now it's going to keep that piece of the sky, which is going to look stupid. Um, but now it, it keeps that little part. Okay? So anyway, that's kind of some advanced stuff um, with pictures. Um, I, I think, I can't remember if I already showed you guys this, but you can do artistic effects with the pictures to make things look like they're watercolored. Um, I guess you can't really tell what I just did there. You can change the color of the picture. Um, you can make it look kind of crazy-like. Um, that's This is just in the color part. If I go back to artistic effects, you can see some of these different type effects that you guys can put on um, your pictures. Okay, so anyway, that's uh, that's some more advanced stuff with pictures. Now let's get rid of the pictures. Um, let's talk a little bit about word art. To do word art, you're going to go to the insert tab. So I just click insert. I go here to word art. And then I can just throw in my word art. Now, if I want to move the word art, I don't necessarily have to go here to move it. Word art's a little different. You can click on the edge to where you get these four arrows, and then you can move the word art wherever you want, which is kind of nice. Um, you can change the color of your word art. And to do that, you go over here to text fill, right? And I can make it red if I want. I can give the outline a different color. I'll go to yellow so you can see it a little bit more. And if you want the outline to be more pronounced, you can go to weight, right, and, and really mess with the outline there. Um, a lot of kids like doing text effects um, on the word art, because that's where you can give it a shadow if you want. So now my word art has a little shadow behind it. Um, I, can, I like to make it glow. Um, so I can make it glow. I mean, there's all kinds of cool things you guys can do with your word art, and I think most of you already know how to do that. Transform. We'll put it in like a different little shape, which is kind of cool. Um, so anyway, that's your word art. Um, other than that, not a whole lot going on with, with word art in your pictures. Now, um, one of the final things that I want to show you is probably the most important thing as far as your brochure is concerned, so please make sure you're paying attention, okay? What I'm going to do now is I'm going to insert a text box, and to do that, I'm going to go to insert, and then right over here is text box. So I go to insert text box, and now I want to click the option that lets me draw my text box. So I'm going to hit draw text box, and then what I'm going to do is, is just draw it on here. And basically what this lets me do is it just lets me type whatever I want. So I can type in my text box. Okay, and now I'm sure a lot of you are sitting there and you're like, oh, cool. Not. Right. Not super mind-blowing or, or cool. But what is nice about this, you guys, is if I click on my text box, I can go to the little edge of it, and I can move it wherever I want, okay? And, and again, you guys are like, whoop de doo Well, on your brochure, that's going to come in very handy because you might want your text in a certain spot. And in fact, anytime you're typing, you need to put um, your words in a text box. So I can make my text box smaller if I want. I can make it real small to where it's like a caption underneath the picture. So if I wanted this to be like a little caption, and I can move it there. Um, that'll be handy on your guys' brochures. So that's very handy stuff as far as, as far as that goes. Now, I should never insert a picture into here, and I should never put word art into there. Um, you, you don't want to do that. Now, I can insert a picture out here. If I want to put a picture here and then drag it in here, you can do that. But don't insert a picture inside of the text box. Only text goes in there. Okay, now I know some of you guys are probably like, well, Mr. Mo, you know, it's – fine, but I don't want a bunch of boxes all over my brochure. I want it to look natural and, and not be real boxy. There, You can get rid of the lines around the text box, and here's how you do that. I have a fun story um, to, to help us with that, okay? Um, and since I was picking on, I, I think it was Darren earlier, I will, I'll continue to pick on Darren. Okay, so here's the story. All right, there's this guy, and this guy is super hot. I mean, he's He's smoking. He's he's on Timberlake. He's on the level of Timberlake, okay? Like a quadruple threat. He's got the looks. He can dance. He's funny. He can sing. He can act. And he's hot. Anyway, he is really into Darren. He's liking Darren, um, and he's decided he's going to ask her out. And a lot of you other girls are like, oh, my gosh, Darren, you're so lucky. I wish I was you because because this guy likes you. And this guy's name's Phil, by the way. Phil, Phil loves Darren. But here's what we don't know about Phil is Phil has this horrible, horrible bad habit. And when Phil gets really nervous, he just starts picking his nose, like digging in there. I'm not talking just like a little scratch. I'm talking like knuckle deep. He is up in that nose, 
and, and then every now and again, he'll sample what comes out, what tastes a little bit. Mm, ooh, salty, right? Gross. So anyway, he decides he's going to ask Darren out. So he walks up to Darren. He's like, hey, what's up, girl? You want to be my girl? But the thing is, is he's super nervous. So what's he doing? That's right. He is picking his nose. So he's got his finger halfway up his nose while he's asking Darren out. What do you think, Darren? What do you think Darren's going to say? Let's go up here to Phil. Here's Phil. You see me right here? I click down, and here's Darren's answer. Darren says, uh, no, Phil. And you guys see what happened there? Um, the word art is kind of covered up because the color right now for the text box is white. When we say no to Phil, all of a sudden it's, it's clear. We can see through it. So we say no to Phil. Okay, Darren breaks Phil's heart. Phil also has a brother, and Phil's brother is, likes Darren as well. And Phil's brother's name is Outline. So if we click on this and we go up here to Format, um, we'll see his brother right up here, Outline. Okay, Outline asks Darren out as well, and Darren's like, uh, your name's Outline? That's kind of weird, right? She doesn't want to write, I love Outline, all over her trapper. And so she says no to Outline, too, just because his name's weird, right? Come on, Darren, that's pretty shallow of you. Um, and so she says no to outline. And so now you see the text box. You can't even tell it's a text box. It has no fill and no outline. So um, you can make your text box to where it doesn't even look like it's in a text box, which is kind of cool. All right. You can also make your text box look cool. And, and here's how you can make it colorful and more cool. Um, again, we'll go back to our story. So Phil is super depressed that she said that Darren said no to him. He goes to nose picker rehab. And, and fixes that problem, dyes his hair blonde, right? And all of a sudden, Darren's like, ooh, I like blonde-haired boys that don't pick their nose. And so she decides yes. She says yes to, to Phil, and so she's now going out with Phil because she likes his hair and he doesn't pick his nose anymore. Um, this, of course, makes Outline kind of jealous, and so Outline decides to go hit the weight room, right? And get all big and buff, right? And so now you can see that this Outline is, is there, and, and he... Um, he keeps his hair, we'll say he dyes his hair red, because Darren kind of likes red-haired boys, too. Um, and then, all of a sudden, Darren thinks that outline looks kind of dashing. Huh? Get it? Dashing? And so, now she decides, yeah, she likes him, too, and so she's going to go out with him as well. Oh, gosh, you make me sick, Darren, you two-timer. So that's right. She says yes to Phil, yes to outline. She now has two boyfriends, and she disgusts me. Um, so that's how you can make your... Um, text box look a little bit cooler. But primarily we're going to want to say no to fill, no to outline. And you do that by clicking your text box, going to format, here's fill, here's outline. Say no to both of them. Okay. The final thing I want to show you guys is, and I'm sure a lot of you know, are shapes. If you just go to insert, where are my shapes at? And shapes, you guys can put different shapes and things um, in your document as well. So I could make a little heart, right? And I could go to shape fill, make it red. Um, and, and so there's my red heart. And again, if, if I wanted to, I could go to insert text box. Let's say I want to put some words on my heart. Draw a text box. I'm going to draw it right here. I heart fill an outline. Um, and now that looks stupid, right? There's a big box in front of the heart. So to make it not look stupid, click on it, format, say no to fill, no to outline, and now you can't tell that we use the text box to, to type inside of the shape. And again, we can adjust it to center it a little bit more. So that's kind of cool. Um, those of you guys who like comics, you go, go to insert shapes. There's call outs down here um, that are kind of cool. Um, and so you can do a different call out if you want, right? And you can click on this yellow part to adjust where this comes from, um, you know, to make it come from someone's mouth. Um, or you could even make it like green and make it come from someone's bottom as if it were a toot, right? Gross. And so uh, these just let you type in there. Toot. Um, so anyway, that is the end of your uh, Microsoft Word advanced tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I apologize. My head was not floating. One day soon, the head shall be back. Ciao.